My name is J.D. Bricken. I'm the refuge manager here at PD Wildlife Refuge and we're going to talk about wetlands today. I've always enjoyed a lot of the sounds are really cool. At nighttime it's real loud and you hear all the frogs and and different animals that are on the wetland and the, the greenness in the summer even when everything else is brown it stays green because all of the moisture and it just seems more like um, you know, when people come here to visit, they say they didn't realize that there were wetlands in North Carolina. They think that this looks like Louisiana or something because that's all they've seen on TV. But, you know, I mean, even during the day, there's always going to be a bird or something in the background, you know, chirping or uh, making noise. And it, there's always activity of, of some kind. And so that's always fun to think about a wetland. The wetland that we have right here, we consider a moist soil unit. It's kind of an area where we try to manage habitat for native aquatic vegetation and those aquatic vegetations would include smart weeds, sedges, some of the rush plant species. We have a lot of waterfowl that come here in the winter. This is kind of a wintering and resting and feeding area for ducks and geese and then we have a lot of wading bird action. We get uh, egrets, we get great blue heron, little green heron, sometimes we'll have bitterns. So we have a fair amount of wading birds that use the area in the spring and summer. The wood duck and they do nest. The other ducks, the 14 species that we get in the fall and winter, usually we get to our peak sometime around the 1st of January. Then we have what we call a GTR, which is a green tree reservoir. <clears throat> we have about 100 acres or so that are flooded on the other side of the road from here. We seasonally flood the hardwood bottom and by flooding some of the stress on the trees kind of creates an increase in mass production to accommodate the waterfowl. We have um, a lot of uh, willow oak which is one of their favorite because it has a really small acorn. We got water oak and then we have some beech trees and some other hardwood that grow in these bottoms. We have the biggest contiguous hardwood bottom in central North Carolina. There's about 3,500 acres along Brown Creek of hardwood and it floods throughout the year as it'll flood and recede and flood and recede and all of that wetland um, is really good for waterfowl as well. And then so we have the GTR as one type of wetland, we have the moist soil units like we have right here, and then we have something called flooded impoundments. In the flooded impoundment areas we plant corn. We have about 250 acres of corn that we flood down near the river and those are crucial for the food value because we get up to 200 bushels an acre of corn on the river bottom. It's some of the best soil in the state of North Carolina and we flood that just as a supplemental food for waterfowl. We, we'd rather they eat the native plant, native vegetation that they can assimilate the protein from in a much better way. But because we're mitigating for the loss of wetland throughout the central part of North Carolina, we have to feed them these more productive foods just because we don't have enough for the 20,000 or so ducks that will come here in the wintertime. We were established as a waterfowl refuge, but there's a lot of byproduct of that that other animals enjoy. The beaver, of course, benefits from the wetland and, and uh, otters, raccoon, all kind of reptiles, uh, amphibians, of course. And then we get a lot of animals that feed on the animals that are in the wetland. So we get a lot of bald eagles in the wintertime that come to eat the ducks because a, a duck or a, a coot, which is a type of waterfowl, those are the, some of the favorite food of a bald eagle. So we do get a lot of bald eagles in the in the wintertime. Get a lot of osprey, which, you know, they like fish and eat snakes and uh, a lot of different hawk species. You know, we get uh, red tail, red shoulder, um, Cooper's hawk, sometimes we get sharp shin, so we get a lot of raptor action. The beneficial part of a wetland is if we have heavy rain, since it's kind of hilly in the Piedmont, a lot of times a lot, a lot of that topsoil or, or uh, sediment from the ground will wash off. And a lot of our creeks and rivers in this area are filled with silt and a lot of sediment that comes running off the land whenever um, there's a big rain event. And what the wetlands do a lot of it's important is that a lot of that sediment that comes off of the land settles in the wetland before it gets into the creek. So it filters out a lot of that debris that would go into the creeks and, and pretty much fill them in over time. 
And it also filters out a lot of things like fertilizer, um, lime, because we are in an agricultural area and a lot of the agricultural byproducts, the fertilizer, um, nitrogen for example, they create blooms in the river or the creeks that aren't really what we want. So those fertilizers and things like that are also filtered out in the wetland before it gets to the creek where it'll flow into the river. So those are some of the important things of, the, of a wetland and then as far as the recreational part of it we get a lot of bird watchers out here. Um, we have a really good hunting program and those open areas, wetland areas are real productive for deer because you know there's a lot of real lush vegetation that grows around the wetland and of course deer hunting is one of our biggest public use activities so both uh, helping the environment the wetland is important and then it also creates a lot of opportunity for recreation for the area. Mm -hmm.